Hey guys, and welcome back to another Black Girl in LA vlog. I've been doing a lot of stops and starts. I've actually recorded the same video like 30 times. Also, my nails are a mess right now, but I'm getting them done today. That's a part of the vlog. Um, I briefly touched on it in my video, maybe the last two. Life been life and really hard. Um, I'm trying really hard to be consistent on my YouTube and also be transparent, but I just, I don't care how hard life gets. I'm never crying on camera. Um, every time I tried to vlog, I would just start crying because I was mad emotional. So I just had to put YouTube to the side for a little bit. But now I'm going to try to get back into vlogging. So today I'm going to meet with my homegirl Chantal. We're going to go to the Melrose Trading Post, which is a really dope um, place in LA in West Hollywood for people who are into like thrifting and like the street fair vibe. Um, I can kind of show you guys better than I can tell you. So let's go. So I just got here, I'm waiting for Chantal. Um, so as you can see, they, they can get a little packed and the lines do get long, but there are two lines. There's prepaid ticket sales and um, people who are trying to pay now. So if you have prepaid a prepaid ticket, the line is actually way shorter. So it can look intimidating, but it's not that bad. Chantal and I actually do have prepaid tickets. I'm just waiting for her to look for parking because she drove. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice day in LA today. Um, I usually come here with a budget. Like I'll, I like to bring cash because then I'm not just swiping my card because most of the vendors- Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Melrose. Most of the vendors do accept um, card. So I try to bring cash to keep myself accountable and um, I always try to come looking for certain things. So one, I need um, eucalyptus sponges for my shower. Um, I get those like once a month. So I'm gonna get that here. I usually get it at Trader Joe's, but since I'm here and I know there's a bunch of plant vendors, I'll just get it here. I'm looking for a vintage Lakers shirt. That's not for me, that's for Kojo. And then for myself, I'm either looking for like, I'm looking for a statement piece. So either a jacket or a blazer that I'm really into. That's mainly what I'm looking for and vinyls. I'm looking for vinyls, but it's either or. If I get a really good statement piece, I get two or three vinyls. I'm trying not to do too much because I also have a habit of buying things because of the price or because I'm at somewhere where you're supposed to be buying things and I figure like, no, I don't want to just be window shopping. So hopefully I keep myself accountable and I keep myself within budget. So like I was saying, this yellow tent is prepaid and then down the street is for people trying to pay now. So. It looks really intimidating and we actually tried to come last week but we didn't prepay and that line was like all the way down the block and we decided to go somewhere else so this time we prepaid we are prepared i also ate a very heavy breakfast and drank a lot of water because it can be sensory overload with all the vendors so it's like a thing you have to really be prepared you have to be about this life copy the alchemist and i actually haven't read this book i know most people have um but i also only read books when i'm called to like i mean i read often but certain books like books like the alchemist and like those books that people say are so monumental to them i only read them when i'm called to them and i actually just randomly saw it in a pile and i was called to it so i'm gonna read the alchemist i'm gonna get it it's eight dollars so and i'm still within my budget i've only spent like fifteen dollars today um my budget was a hundred dollars so i still have some room but I don't have to spend the 400 but that's just like my the cushion that I gave myself for today. So we still have barely done the full loop. And there's so much more left. 
That's why you have to really come here prepared, to be quite honest. You cannot wing it. So into this vendor, like her, um, her presentation is really just A1. Also on Etsy. So I've been really called to wellness stuff. Today I've gotten eucalyptus bunches, a bulk the alchemist, two candles, and I'm about to get a bath soak. I said I was looking for shirts, which I've still been looking, but haven't really found anything. But I guess since I haven't been in the best of moods, I should just lean into this wellness because my wellness is important and I've been um, I've been kind of slacking, not even gonna hold y'all. So you know to hoe with the list, I guess. Wait, can I see that? Yeah. <laughs> That's really there's Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It's so bad all day. I, I normally always have it and randomly today don't and of course I'm oh, more, so first of all and you got the right photos. Yes. This one this is my favorite. She, she, uh, I don't think you understand. She, she means everything to me. I think. It's a little deep in that. Yeah. Right? Um and he my, my birthday was Friday and it was oh, just like related. thank you. Happy it was his one year anniversary set or whatever. Yay. Yeah last night. So, I was definitely yeah. in the, the live. Yeah, <laughs> same. So Jonathan Mannion they were talking about a Teddy Pen Teddy Pendergrass picture yes. photo he did, and I guess it was like one of the last pictures taken of him. And so Jonathan Manny was like, "I'm gonna give away a print right now. He's all be nice pick." And I was all, me, me. "It's my birthday!" Like, did you win it? No. Oh. I don't know. I don't think so, but I think it's a shout out. Oh my gosh! I felt very special. I'm that big. Is this like? Anyway, take it. Thank you. So all day, um, we've gone to a bunch of different vendors and so Saul has been looking for Aaliyah anything because she loves Aaliyah. And we happened to stop by this shop and she's now ordering a custom Aaliyah. Look at, look at how the world works. You just say what you want and look at, that's like really fast manifestation. You said you wanted Aaliyah something and look, you found, a, I did. you were gifted a custom pin and you just placed an order for a shirt. Not Jose Cuevo, child. I actually really love this, the Kanye um, hair. But look at Harry Styles' father. <laughs> oh, look. Sorry, I must go. <laughs> Am I not young enough to know what this I means? Think I don't get the it. reference. Did you get it? So, there is currently a man wearing a bay hoodie and no shirt under. I'm scared of him. I'm scared of him. He's He has a shirt under his hoodie. Right in front of us. He has no shirt. I'm scared of him. I'm so scared of him. How will they know? How will they know? That's exactly. Because he just turned around. It's like zipped all the way down. It's no shirt. Yes. Bible. Are you trying to have your x-ray vision see through? That's okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> when I'm tired, I have to play too much. That's what's happening right now. So I had a chance to run home really quickly. Um, I needed to drop off the things that I bought at the Melo's Trading Post. I got these candles, $10 for the six ounce. Um, I need to figure out her Instagram. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom of the screen. I got an Island Breeze and a Spa Day. They smell very potent, which I like, and they're soy. Um, I only burn soy candles in my home. 
I got this bath soak. I showed you guys her um Mayo Mio. I gotta figure out how to pronounce that. Um Apothecary. She has an Etsy shop, but her presentation was so nice. But beyond that, her energy was just so warm. She was so sweet. Like she greeted us when we got there, which is really important to me because I don't like when I go into one of those booths, booths, and the vendor just doesn't greet you, acts like they don't know you. I got <laughs> I love this. I actually got this for my best friend. Um, so I got to frame this and send it out to him. And then this, The Alchemist. I've never read it, but I'm really, really excited to. And like I said, um, everything I bought today was really wellness focused. And that's not what I went there looking for, but that's just where I was attracted to all day. And I guess I haven't been taking care of myself. So my body and my subconscious is telling me like, girl, you better um, get it together. Oh, she was giving me a sample. What is this? Oh, she gave me a sample of one of her face masks. Look at that. Like, look at how sweet this is. And just like her packaging, she is so legit. So I actually need to hurry up and water my plants and then run out to my nail appointment. I just had a kickoff call with Kicks and Froze because I am one of the ambassadors for them. Um, we haven't announced it yet, but by the time this video is out, I'm sure we would have announced it. So I'll be making some content with them and for them. So I'm really excited. I love Melissa. I love what they do over there. So it just really made sense and I'm excited to be working with them. So I got to hurry up though because I think my lift is two minutes away. So clearly I made it. I do not do well with rushing. Um, I had to eat really fast before I came to my nail appointment. Luckily, I cooked yesterday. I love when I prepare for my future self. Like, sometimes I do things that I don't want to do in the moment, but I'm like, mm, that's gonna help tomorrow, Cheyenne. Um, but I ate before I left the house really quickly. Um, but I did want a snack because I didn't eat a big portion, and also my nail appointment is about three hours. And then I'm going straight to Trader Joe's for Ralph after. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm prepared because one thing about me, once I get cranky, it's not it's not ideal.